All right, so I am going to tackle another question that was asked in a previous live stream. And this is by Jim P, who says, please explain Botox for spasticity. So as mentioned earlier in the live stream, uh, spasticity is very, very common in MS. I would say that upwards of 70% of people impacted by MS experience spasticity at some point in time. And spasticity is really something that, that occurs when opposing muscle groups fight. So I'll use, let's see if I can get my arm in view. I'll use my massive arm here. So if I want to bring my arm down, the tricep muscle has to get shorter. It has to contract. If I want to bring my arm up, my bicep muscle has to contract. But here's the thing. To bring my arm up, not only does the bicep have to contract, but the tricep has to let go because these are opposing muscles. And I don't tell my opposing muscle to relax. I just say, hmm, water. And the spinal cord and brain turn off the opposing muscle. In the setting of MS, however, sometimes the uh, opposing muscle didn't get the memo. It didn't get the email and it doesn't know that it's supposed to stop contracting. And so in the setting of MS, you may be trying to do that and you're also trying to do that, not on purpose. And so you're having a tug of war with your own freaking limb. And that can happen in your feet and your hands and your arms and your legs. It can be really, really yucky. And it typically manifests in three ways. You can see uh, limbs that are hard to bend. So like getting out of the car can be really, really challenging. You can see a spasm or a Charlie horse. Or uh, you can have uh, bouncing spasms, things like that cramps, whatnot. And there's lots of different medicines to treat spasticity. And picking a medicine for spasticity has everything to do with identifying where you're spastic. So Botox is a injection. It's actually a toxin from botulinum. Um, it's one of the most toxic substances on earth. And if you take a little itty bitty tiny bit of it and you inject a very small amount into the muscle, you can poison the muscle a small amount and it will uh, poison that muscle and dampen the power of the muscle, let's say 3% or 5%, and it will help with focal spasticity. Focal spasticity is when you just have spasticity, say, of these fingers or of this wrist. And Botox is awesome sauce for treating focal areas of spasticity. Botox is not awesome when you have all of both of your legs spastic because you can't Botox that many muscles. And in those situations where you have many, many limbs involved, we don't want to use a focal uh, treatment because you don't have a focal problem. We want to use a more generalized treatment like an oral baclofen or a baclofen pump or something like that.